fire, smoke, and delicious magical drinks. It may be hard to believe, potions and all, but I'm on historic Stone Street at the Cauldron. And in case the wands don't already give it away, this is not your average bar. All right, we have our wands. Yes. But something about this just doesn't feel right. Yeah, I think you're not you're not you're not quite a full wizard yet. Let me fix that for you. All right, now now you look more like a wizard. Now I think we can get started. Much better. So Leo, you're the head wizard here. Yes. Which makes every other job sound really boring. Yeah. <laughs> what does a head wizard do? I'm tasked with making sure that all of our students have the kind of best experience possible here at the cauldron. You know, we can offer a few things. The the potion making experience. I like to think of it like like folks are coming in to to learn how to be a wizard. I'm feeling like a wizard already. Yeah, yeah. Well, you haven't had your education yet, but you know, you're you're on your way. Sometimes you go to a bar and you think, oh, I'll try to recreate this drink at home. Here, I feel like you can definitely not do that. This is definitely a lot more ingredients than your average cocktail at a bar, and also a lot more kind of niche, hard to find ingredients. It's definitely a more unique experience you have to come. It's harder to recreate, for sure. This wand, I feel very powerful holding it. Yes. What are some of the things that it can do for me around here? You can cast an illumination spell <laughs> over on your fairy house here. We also have kind of the wand activated drink dispense system. A few a few other hidden Easter eggs around the venue too. What should people know about the cauldron if they've never been here before? We have a large offering, you know, you can come for a potion experience, you can come for kind of a specific curated experience, but you can also just come in, come in to have a drink. We're trying to reinstill kind of a sense of wonder in folks, you know, kind of they've had cocktails before, they but it is the, the sense of doing it yourself, it's very empowering. You 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 start to feel like a wizard. I think it's time to get you started brewing some potions. See see how you can do, yeah? Let's do it. All right. This is the blood boiling curse potion? Correct, yes. That sounds a little scary. It is a little scary. All right, I trust scary. you. All right, we're going to be adding first our vial of vodka. OK. So now we're going to be casting a mixing spell Ooh. here. Excellent work. Oh, look at I, knew, I knew you were a natural. This is cool. I knew you could okay. do it. All right. OK, we're on to number five. Yes. Distilled troll bogies. Yes, this, I this feel like one we should here. skip that one. That doesn't no, sound no, no, no. It's an essential component. All right, the potion we master, it. Okay, I instructions. Just, yeah. So we've <laughs> added one vial of troll bogies. Next, the essence of hibiscus. Mm, that sounds this good. This one here. Okay, look at this color. We ready? Yes, yes. And. You can tell which one of us was a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, wizard. This is not your average cocktail, folks. We have a cauldron. We have yes. a lot of things going on. What is this one? So this is a cocktail called the Botany Brew. This one, I think, very satisfying. Lives up to our name. It's it's made in a cauldron. So first, I'm going to give you the hard job. Start grinding oh, up all the you. herbs and botanicals in there. OK. All yeah. right. Here we are. You can oh, stir it. We can do it delicately, or we can just kind of go Yeah, like dump this. it in there. there the more Get smoke, going. the better. Yes, wizard, yes. Ooh, oh, very now we're talking. sorcery you've got here. Excellent work. And each experience, how long does it typically take? Hour and 45 is kind of the, the typical offering. Uh, so that'll be, that'll include two interactive potions like this and one wand-activated potion as well. And what's your advice for people coming in here? I think the most important thing to bring in is is a sense of fun. You know, that is that's the real magic. I feel like a little kid. Exactly. I've never been somewhere like this before. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, that's we are we are unique. A full ladle. Excellent, excellent. Like that. Mine as well. All right, on goes the cat. All right. I'll do mine first here this time. All right, cheers, Wizard. Cheers. Pretty good. Mm. Iced tea, but yeah. a little elevated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For more fun and unique things to do in the Tri-State area, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.